So Conflicts today we're reviewing a brand new humanoid robot. This here is the Robison Bumblebee G1. That is right, Robison is back at it again with an all new robot for their lineup. Essentially a companion for this guy right over here, the OG transforming robot Optimus Prime. Now together we'll be unboxing it as well as trying it out and seeing exactly what it's all about. So if you guys wanted your very own, check out their link down below in the description. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so if you're not familiar with this particular robot, it's actually the OG transforming robot. Now, one of the most unique things about this particular Optimus Prime is the fact that it can transform. For instance, hey Optimus Prime, Greetings. transform. Now that was absolutely one of the kickers behind this robot being able to do that. But an all new Bumblebee supposedly does not have that capability, which makes you kind of wonder what kind of a robot is it in fact. Now one thing to note that it is significantly cheaper than this robot, but I also wonder is it actually based off of the K1 Pro that is also offered by Robosyn. Now I'm not exactly sure to be honest, but we'll actually be comparing them side by side and seeing exactly is it just a new robot or in fact is it a robot in disguise, literally. So let's go ahead and take a look at the box next and see what it's all about. All right, so this here's our packaging, this here's our box. Overall, it looks so cool. You do see Bumblebee there kind of standing about. Definitely has a really cool looking humanoid robot appearance to it as if it's ready to fight. Now, this is a performance model, which I'm not exactly sure what that means, but it definitely sounds really cool. Now, you do note that this is licensed by Hasbro, so it's an official product, so that's always a plus, and definitely makes it a collector's grade. As we're kind of rotating on the back here, it kind of showcases essentially a blueprint of the robot. Now, aside that, that is about it. Oh, on this side here, it does say that it does have some other features, including cognition, so advanced computing, advanced language processing, accessibility, so you do have voice activation, and then remote controls, skills and action library, where you can go ahead and download different things, advanced adaptive control algorithm, so it can go ahead and control itself, uh, and then 17 precision servos, so there's our answer right there. So we have 17 servos, which is a hefty amount. Uh, aside that, let's open it up and see what's inside. Alright, so this here's our case. Overall, really nice. Uh, a little bit different than your standard one. Obviously, the same material. However, you do have the user manual kind of built into this, the case itself. Uh, you do have your Autobot logo. It says Authentic Transformers, Robeson, and then a little packet right over here. Different paperwork. So it looks like we have our quick, uh, quick start guide, our safety user manual, and a warning sheet. So, I mean, obviously, pretty straightforward stuff. You just download the app and you're ready to go. Okay, so no locking mechanisms on this particular box, so just keep that in mind. And bada bing, bada boom, whoa. That is actually pretty cool. <laughs> I feel like I'm opening up an action figure. That is exactly the size of this robot. So it's significantly smaller than some of the other human robots we've seen. Um, definitely looks really cool. I love the casing and the housing and the absolute display of it. Uh, looks like we have some three boxes right here as well. So there's a box here on the right. USB-C power adapter. Looks like we have a little weapon. That is cool. So it does come with its own little gun. So again, similar to what Optimus has for his own. Ah, there we go. There's a button right here. So just go ahead and pull the trigger back and I'll go ahead and enable and disable it. You can see it right there as it's on. So that is cool. Our actual USB-C to USB-C cable for charging our Bumblebee. Now let's take a look at our robot. 
So some first impressions, I mean, it's a lot more simpler than some of the other robots that we've seen, mainly because of the fact that it does lack a lot of details. So as we kind of look at the robot itself, uh, you do have a nice head that does have a rotational servo, so it can move left and right. Uh, looks like we have our chest piece here. Uh, ideally, it would transform into a vehicle, but this one doesn't. Uh, we have multiple servos here. It looks like a little thumb that does move in terms of place goes. So we can go ahead and technically move that about a little slot for our weapon. I'll just kind of slide to play right over there. Uh, so we do have some movement and then as is with the legs we can go ahead and move it up and down left and right. Uh, we do see some servos in there throughout which is great. On the back side here we have our speaker built into the back panel, our USB-C ports, and then our power button which is located here on the top as well. Uh, besides that, I mean it looks pretty darn simple. Um, on the bottom it doesn't really have anything else in terms of like grippers or goes. You do see part of the headlights of the robot here as if it was a vehicle. And yeah, I mean it looks kind of cool, definitely very smaller than I was imagining. Um, not exactly sure how this is going to perform. but. We'll seen a little bit. Let's take a look at it and comparing it in terms of our size of our K1 Pro. And aha, uh -huh. I mean, they're almost exactly the same height, which makes you kind of wonder, obviously. Now, looking at the servos and how they kind of line up, one thing to note is the legs are different. So the leg servos on the K1 Pro go left and right versus this here is vertical. So that does identify that it's a completely new platform and not something that's just re essentially disguised. Um, and then looking at the legs, we do have some flaps here, so that's kind of cool too. So it does give it flexibility. Uh, and I do see that the legs are actually very different uh, in terms of the servos go. So this one here kind of goes straight down versus the servo legs on the K1 Pro go backwards. So you do have that difference right over there, which is a clear indication that this robot is a brand new robot. And they actually did put some thought and effort into this instead of taking an easy way out and essentially rebranding the K1 Pro to make it look like Bumblebee as that would have been very easy to do. But yes, again, side by side, both of the robots are very identical in size uh, and in height. And I mean, I'm sure they do share some of the similarities. For instance, the power buttons are exactly the same. Um, K1 Pro has a lot of exposed wires, but the uh, Bumblebee does not, which is good. But let's go ahead and fire up this guy next and see what he's all about. Hiya, friend. Bumblebee here. All right, so surprisingly, the audio is actually very clear and very crisp. Um, that actually sounded really cool. Um, you do see some lights here. Oh, we, it looks like we have some standby motions. That's kind of cool. So it's kind of has its own, like, as if it's breathing. That is great to see. A lot of these robots don't have that feature. Um, I do see LEDs throughout the head, the eyes, uh, someone throughout the windows, it looks like, even the legs. Um, yeah, it looks pretty darn cool and definitely promising. Uh, let's just kind of mess with it and see what happens. Hey, Bumblebee. How's it going? Move forward. Oh, well, check out that walk. That's so cool. Hey, Bumblebee. How's it going? Transform. Convert. Dance. Hey, hey, let's bust a move. Oh, that is so cool. I mean, definitely has a lot of character. That that is absolutely fact. And the servos are very prompt. The voice recognition is on spot. And this is me without even looking at the user manual, just kind of messing with it, which is pretty darn cool. So yeah, I mean, let's just go ahead and uh, open up the app next and see what this thing is all about. Bumblebee. How's it going? <laughs> Robots in disguise. All right, connect to Bumblebee. Allow Bluetooth connectivity. Okay, I think that's our robot. 
Okay, so we are officially connected to our robot. Uh, so we have robot control, we have uh, action download, create, and mini theater. Let's just jump right into remote control. Control mode. All right, so I can go ahead and move it up and down. This is for walking movement. I can make it move forward. I can make it move backwards. I can make it move right. I can have them rotate. Have them rotate the other way. How cool! So yeah, you do have your full control movements of the robot as standard with any humanoid robot nowadays. Um, you have your walking speed that you can go ahead and adjust as well. So I do have different things here. So this here is a gesture. So it says hi. Hey, it's great to see you. What's your name? Khan. All right, so there's a weapon button. So we're gonna go ahead and put the weapon here, just like this. Just kind of slide into that little slot. And then just hit our weapon. Okie dokie. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> oh, that's so awesome. Uh, then a random, I'm not sure what that is, but it might be just an animation. Watch out. <laughs> Let's kick it up a notch. That's so entertaining. <laughs> uh, then we have a kick function, so we can kick left. Oh, cool. Let's kick the other way. Whoa. So the fact that it can balance on itself is really, really promising, especially with the robot of its size. And this is a middle star button. So that's like a, like a hooray kind of deal. Uh, clap. All systems are go. Okay, so that's more like I'm ready kind of stance, I guess. And then this is like a sad face. Aw, shucks. <laughs> so, I mean, it's pretty cool. So we have an automatic standing function. We have walk speed function. Uh, we can change our layout here. We can essentially increase the button size and mess around with a lot of different things here. So that's kind of neat too. That does give you customization. Next thing I'm going to click on is um, the settings here. You can see the different things here. So you have app sound effects. You have your language, your voice commands. If I click on the voice commands here, it'll tell you all the different things that you can say to the robot uh, in which we've already kind of messed around with that. Hey, uh, Bumblebee. How's it going? Introduce yourself. And then there's download action Enter center. Bluetooth control mode. Volts so function off. These are all the different movements that we have. So you have like happy birthday. Let's try that. It's your birthday? Now that's something to buzz about. Happy birthday to one of my favorite humans. I love the little little wiggle right there. That's cool. Uh, Download Center has a few different things in here. So you can see uh, Blast Some Cons, Scout, etc. So if I click this one here, I can actually see a quick little display of it. So it'll kind of show you exactly what it looks like. And then you can download it based off of that. So now I have the other ones here. So this one is called uh, Nightmare. A Decepticon's worst nightmare. <laughs> this is a scout. Activating scanners for scout mode. The Decepticons are attacking. Ready to roll. <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> So you can go ahead and download different animations from the download center and you can technically create your own and share it as well going forward, I'm imagining. Uh, we have our own program mode. So you have block based mode where you can do drag and drop. Voice function off. For instance, if I click add an action, I can pick a specific joint based on what I'm looking for. And then I'll even show you which one you're looking at. So if I do this, uh, I can move it slightly up. There you go. And then if I hit play, oh. <laughs> But it showcases exactly how that is. So you could technically make your own program. 
And then you have all your different modules in terms of coding, which is great. Now I can go ahead and click cancel. And then of course you have That's learning mode. mode. Uh, so learning mode is manual. So for this here, I can technically program it any way I want. So this is like a puppeteer mode is what I always call it. So what I do is I find a position that I like like this. And then if I hit sync, it will showcase it on the screen and add it there just like that. And then if I bring it down, turn this way, bring this one up, click sync, it'll show it there, add it there. And then I can add my own music uh, and I can technically play this just like that. And then if I play, it'll show the exact motion that I just made. So this is great to create your own custom animations with zero programming knowledge. Great for kids and makes it so much easier, honestly. So yeah, that is that in terms of the different modes. So the only thing that we haven't seen is called mini theater, which I'm super excited to show you. This is something unique because one, you have solo play, but two, you have multiplay, which you can go ahead and incorporate Optimus Prime with Bumblebee. And I've never seen that before. <laughs> so let's go ahead and hit solo play it's next. Bluetooth control mode. Now, function off. now I'm gonna click on this one here. It's called Born for Battle. I'm not sure what this is, uh, but it looks like it just might be a 45 second animation and see how this performs. was so cool I mean I've never seen anything like that before definitely very cinematic and overall a really cool experience uh, let's go ahead and try out the other one here with multiplay and hook up Optimus Prime okay I have our current Bumblebee connected I'm gonna look for our next robot which is our Optimus Prime there he is all right, so we have both of our robots together. This is so cool. Uh, and let's try Autobots Assemble. Connection complete. So that was our Autobots assemble. Uh, kind of neat how they kind of conversated with each other. Obviously, I wish they kind of told us exactly where to go ahead and like put them. Uh, but yeah, pretty cool stuff. So this one here is called Engage Decepticon. Looks like this one here, we're gonna put a weapon on this guy. And then let's see, hit start. And we're just kind of waiting as it downloads. <laughs> But the first one was pretty darn cool. I mean, I have to say that was actually a lot of fun to see. I've never seen anything like that, especially with two robots interacting based off of programming, uh, obviously without any input at all. Um, I think that's unique. Oh. Activating scanners for scout mode. Scout mode the Decepticons are attacking. Prepare for battle. Autobots engage the enemy. Ha, I was born battle ready. <laughs> Watch out! It's Megatron! Whoa! Thanks for the heads up!
Marathon's Worst Nightmare. <laughs> so there you guys have it. That was actually really cool. I love the fact that you can go ahead and create this essentially play between two robots, if not more, because it does give you the option to add more. That's actually pretty cool. So definitely a great addition to the Robeson family. And if you already do own the Optimus Pride robot or if any other robots to begin with, this little guy, definitely a lot of fun for the buck. Now with that said, if you guys have any questions, comment down below. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next video. Take care now. Bye-bye.